day. Because the Lord has moved us up, God is on our way. Amen. That's enough to say thank you. Yes, it is. Amen. So someone this morning couldn't get up. All right. Amen. Someone this morning didn't know how to wave their hand. Yes. Because the old preacher said, if I couldn't tell a mama word, I'll just wave my hand. All right. All right. So we are blessed. Yes, we are. We thought we got a portion of our help and strength. Oh, yes, the reason I know we thought we came into the house of prayer. Yes. yes. You know, when you got up this morning, Jesus. you just started the devotion then. Yes. You didn't have to wait to the church this morning. You just praise him all the time, all the yes. way here. Amen. Because yes. so he gave us family grace. That's right. Yes. You know, I feel good. Before I feel good. Yes. Because this is another day. Yes, it is. Another day he gave me. Yes. New mercy. Yes. That new grace. Yes. Yes. Enough today I can say thank you. Hallelujah. I can say thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Another day I can see my sisters and brothers here. Yes. We are still gathered together. Amen. You know, we're coming back in, but we should encourage the other one to come. Yes. Maybe we got Facebook and all that. Yes. <laughs> but it's good to tell them to come into the house of prayer. Yes. Amen. You know, things that open up now. Yes. We can go to Walmart, yes. Crocodile, yes. all of them places. <laughs> but when it's time to come out to the house of prayer, we see few. Yes. Right. Oh, so this morning I feel good. Amen. Yes. Amen. I can sit here and give a testimony all day long. Yes, but I know somebody else got a testimony. Yes, somebody else want to hear us. Yes. So today we're going to start our devotion. Yes. We're going to help that. Deacon Smith, he's going to sing a song. And yes. so Deacon Taylor is going to bring us prayer today. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Jesus is on the main line. Yeah. 
that we was going to make it through the week. Yes. But you brought us through help. Yes, you did. Amen. We want to say thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the diseases yes. going around help us. Yes. We brought us through. Yes. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Heavenly Father, I want to ask that you continue to bless my family. Oh, yeah. Continue to bless my sisters. Yes. Yes. We go through something sometimes. Yes. But we know that you are the one. Yes. And we trust in you, Heavenly Father. We trust you. Yes. And all these blessings are asked in your name. Yes. Amen. 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 Good morning, New Bethel. Good morning. Good morning, New Bethel. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Yeah. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Is there anybody glad to be here this morning? Yeah. Don't fool me. Is there anybody glad to be in the house on this morning? Yeah. And for those of you all that are spirit and live with us, we are the New Bethel Mission Baptist Church. Of Gary, Indiana. We're located at 2325 West on 21st Avenue, where our beloved pastor is, the Reverend OBC Lyons. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're so glad to have Pastor Sister Lyons back with us on today. It just goes to show you how good God is. Last week they were out of the country, but this week they're back in the country, so we serve a God that can bring you back to the way you need to be. Hallelujah. So we thank God for that. God has prayed. Don't worry this morning. God has been too good in spite of what's going on in this world today. I just want you to know that God is a keeper. And the reason why I know he's a keeper is what we did this morning. He kept you when you couldn't keep you. So I just thank God to be in the presence of this morning.
He's good to me. He's good all the time. He's been good to me when I ain't been good. He's still been good. Hallelujah. So that's why I come to give him the best praise, the best worship that I have because he's just that kind of God. My total surrender to you, Jesus.
life to dedicate to Sadiq and John Berry.
but you came to the right place at the right time. Wherever you stand in need, God is in the delivering business. Baby, all it takes to say this high is a mustard seed. Shall we have mercy? 
Edwards and Deacon Barry, on the son of David. So Sally, verse 28, he says, And when he went in the house, the blind men came to him. Jesus said to them, watch this. Do you believe that I'm able to do this? And they said to him, yes, Lord. Tasha in verse number 29 says, and then he touched their eyes, saying, don't y'all miss this. Let it be done for you according to your faith. And the A part of verse 30 said, and their eyes were open. Oh God, I bless your name. Verse 29. He then he touched their eyes saying, let it be done for you according to your faith. The message Bible says it like this. He said he touched their eyes and said, become what you believe. So today for a moment, if you don't mind, I want to talk to you from this topic. What can your faith do for you? What can your faith do for, do for you? Father, we thank you, we bless you, we honor you, God, in this place. Ask that you, God, that your will be done. Speak, Holy Spirit. Father, it's not me. Anybody came to hear, but they came to hear from you. So, God, I pray today, Lord, that you would not let us leave the same way we can. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brother D, what can your faith do for for you. William Murphy has a song and sitting back listening to it that said, now let your glory settle here. Now, now, now can I just help somebody this morning because the glory of the Lord is in this place. I wish I had somebody in here. And if I'm asking him, minister, I'm not, uh, to not, to Oh, why? 
you're going through, watch this, don't panic. Right. Because that pressure you feel is just God stretching your faith uh, as he prepares you for more. Your faith uh, has the ability uh, to put you in a place uh, where you can see the abundance of God. Uh, I wish I had somebody in the room today uh, that understands uh, that God gives all of us uh, a measure of faith. Uh, and what you do with your faith, uh, I wish I had somebody in the room, uh, what you do with your faith uh, shows uh, how important God is in your life. Uh, if you want to see more, then maybe you got to step out uh, on faith more. Forty-two and twelve, the eighth part, the New Living Translation said, "So the Lord bless you in the second half of his life more than in the beginning." How many know that God can bless you in the latter half? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 God. Somebody might say, "I got more years behind me than I do in front of me," but God can bless you. I wish I had some help in here. Whatever you got left, God knows how to pour out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. And I wish I had somebody in the room today that would claim your blessing. And I wish I had somebody. The worst thing we can do, Sister Banks, is make a permanent decision over a temporary situation. All right. <clears throat> A lot of us, uh, because of what we're going through, we decide, Mother Clown, we start talking about our situation and we start claiming where we are. But that's not how your faith ought to work because your faith believes uh, in the impossible. Your faith ought to believe uh, that even though I'm here right now, uh, God can turn my situation around. Uh, and I believe in and trusting in God uh, that where I am now, uh, Long. 
long years. And here she is out in public where she's not supposed to be. But because of her condition, she is, I wish I had somebody in the room that understand that sometimes, baby, you're not supposed to be there. But out of desperation, you will find yourself present to wherever the Lord is because you need the Lord and you need him right now. Yes, the Bible says that she said, if I can touch the hymn, how many in the room says, if I can just get close enough to Jesus, just to touch his hymn, then I can be made whole. Is there anybody in the place today, oh, just want to be close to him? Amen. The Lord said in 31, 15 and 8, he says, my time are in your hand. In other words, my life is in your hands. Whatever you decide to do, God, I trust you, Lord. I wish I had somebody right there. It's in Hebrews 13 and 38. It says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm so glad that God does not change up on me, but he is the same. I wish I had somebody in the room that knows
Pray three times for the same thing. Verse 28. We see the persistence. Because he said when he went into the house. Watch this. Now I don't want you to miss this. They are calling his name. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus does not say anything to him, brother Mingo. But he walked by him without a word. Mm -hmm. Like some of you do in the church. I mean, stop to take me right now. Sometimes folks come to church. You speak to them, they walk right by you like they don't see you or hear you. I wish I had some help in here. But how would you feel if you needed God? Oh God. And the actual moment that you needed him the most. And he showed up. But he walked by you without saying nothing. How would you feel today? Sister Williams, how would you feel if you've been on your knees all this time and the spirit showed up in the church and here he is your way on the word and he doesn't say a word to you? Bible says, went into the house. But this is where your shout come from. So to share, I don't care if you don't say nothing. I don't care if you walk by me and don't say a word. Wherever he go, yeah. I'm going behind him. Yeah. And that's the kind of faith you got to have. You got to say, Lord, I'll follow you. Wherever you go, I'm going to follow you. Because ain't nobody help me but you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Kind of amazing that we have, watch this, selective hearing when it comes to God. Can I get a little bit of this? Some of us don't pay no tithes. We know the Lord been telling us we got to do better. Amen. Don't get quiet on me now. Amen. 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 Sometimes the Lord tells us to pray for somebody. Amen. Amen. We pray for our own. And we say the rest. God bless him. Mm. The Lord tells us to call somebody. Don't help me in here. My mama used to always say, when people, when God put somebody on their mind, you ought to pray for them. Amen. The Lord tells us to call somebody. And we so lazy. I ain't going to say the other one. But we are just, amen, somebody. Amen. Never call them. Yeah. We have selective hearing when it comes to God. Yeah. But when God seems to have selective hearing when it comes to us, baby, we fall off. you hear me praying? Don't you see these tears? Don't you know I need you? Don't you see my situation? Have anybody ever been there before? Amen. Came with a word today. God is going to bless you, but you must be willing to be stretched. Yes. Mm. Because the goal is to develop spiritual stamina so when problems occur, I don't react out of emotion, but I react out of faith. Ah, uh, the woman, uh, it's, back, it's about a woman uh, who kept coming to this judge. Uh, Sister David, she needed some help uh, from this judge, and she kept showing up. Uh, every day she came to the judge's house, uh, and the Bible said he had no respect for God, uh, and he had no respect for man. But because she kept showing up, the Bible said, let me answer her before she runs me crazy. I came to tell you today that God is saying today, just keep on coming. Because the Bible said, knock and keep on knocking. Ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Is there anybody in the room today that is willing to knock until the door comes open? It's accompanied by expectation. So the Bible said we walk by, walk by faith. The Bible said the blind man came to Jesus. Then verse 28, Jesus said to them, do you believe that I'm able to do this? Sometimes the Lord is looking for us to express our faith in him personally and directed. The Bible said that all things are possible to them that believe. The Bible said that they said, yes, Lord. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God 
where we pretend to be. It was Paul that says, our powerful faith counsels us to be stubborn. Because the word said to be unmovable, which means not move from the place. And the scripture says, stand still and see the salvation of, of the Lord. Salvation means deliverance. And I have discovered that great faith is born out of great struggle. That's why the songwriter said, in a way, you bless me. I'll be satisfied. It was Jacob that told the angel, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. And I wonder if I have any people who are willing to say, I'm not leaving this place until I get what I came for. I'm willing to follow you wherever you go because I know whatever I need. The Lord has. Is there anybody in the place today where your faith done for you? You gotta have the power of faith. You gotta believe that whatever you're seeking God for, He He will answer your prayer. And so the third thing that I saw this morning, the promise of my faith, because the faith has its rewards. The Bible said that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him.
have enough faith to believe that God can change your situation. Anybody in the kingdom is this? Anybody got enough faith to believe that no matter where I am right now, God is able.
gave up when Jesus walked past them. Because can I tell you something? Jesus was testing them. He was testing their faith. And sometimes that's what God does to us. Sometimes in his silence, he's simply testing you. To see if you really trust him. Because when you really trust God, then I don't have to pick the phone up and call Sister Shirley. I'm going to start having some evidence.
thank you for the gift and the giver. And Father, we pray today, Father, we thank you that we're able to show a good ground. We don't give out of need or want, but God, we give out of abundance because we are abundantly blessed because we're connected to you. And so God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, go with us, stand by us, lead us and guide us. Keep us safe, give us traveling grace until we are all able to meet again in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. amen. Love you, there's nothing you can do about it.